Hi, I am Sides. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you could build a demo fast in Logic Pro. This is not just for producers, this is for songwriters. This is for people that want to make music instead of going home and watching Netflix. This is for anyone, and this is not specifically for the pros. If you are a pro, you can try this out to get some inspiration or think outside of the box. But I know a lot of pros are going to hate on this. Maybe not pros, because pros are too busy to hate. These features are the reason I love Logic Pro so much because it totally aligns with my mission. And my mission is to make music production and entrepreneurship more accessible to more people. That is very important to me. Every single thing I post, every single brand I work with, every single product I sell aligns with that mission. Are you guys ready to make a demo fast? Here we go. To do it, you need the latest version of Logic. The first thing you're gonna do, I just like to start with an audio track, and then I like to set myself up for success. And to set myself up for success for a quick demo is figuring out the arrangement I want first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press Option G to configure these track configurations. Um, and really all I need is the arrangement and the chord track. So I'm gonna go through my arrangements first. So you're just gonna decide what arrangement you want. I'm just gonna add these. They add them in increments of eight bars, which is fine for me. So I'm just gonna add a bunch and then I'm gonna go through and decide what I want where. So I'll start with an eight bar intro, then I'll change this. Actually the verse is fine. Then maybe we'll do a 16 bar verse, right? We'll do 16 bar verse, go into a chorus. Chorus, do another chorus, then we'll go into another verse, then we'll go into another verse, then we'll go into a chorus, go into a chorus, then we'll add a bridge, then we'll add a chorus, then maybe we'll add one more chorus, and now we'll add an outro. And I also like to stay very organized. And for me, staying organized is color coding. So to do that, all you have to do is press Option C, and then you can color code them. So I'm going to make this red. I'll make this green. The verse is green. And then I like to make sure all of the verses are the same green, or close as I can, remember. Then I'll go to the choruses. We'll make those blue. We'll make the outro maroon, or whatever that color is. And we'll make the bridge purple. Okay, now we're all set up with our arrangement. Now the first thing I'm going to do is start with the piano. So I'm going to right click here, select new session player, and I'm going to go with the keyboard. You could decide if you want to do freely piano style, broken chords, block chords, arpeggiated, simple pad. Let's go with block chords. Press create. And now it built the whole song for you. And that's why I love starting with the arrangement. Because you can see it doubled the intensity. It, it changed the intensity between the verse, the intro, the chorus. And it actually kept the choruses the same. So we basically have that all there. It also added a chord progression for us that we can go through and change if we want to. So all to do that, all you do is double click on it and then you can change this. Like, let's say I want to change this to sus4 and now it'll automatically change it to sus4. Let's listen to what we have. I just kept these on A minor. So if you want the same chord progression, you're going to have to hold down Option and then just move that there. And then it automatically will adjust it. And yeah, you just got to keep going to do that for all of them because it'll just use A minor as a bass. But if you select all of it, right click and do chord progression, now you can change the chord progression here if you want to. So let's say I want to do that for the chorus instead. 
So I go like from here to this. And then let's do that again here. Hold, I'm just holding down option and dragging to copy and paste. And now let's go into the bridge. And now let's do something different for the bridge too. Control click to open this up, do chord progression. And now let's change the chord progression here. And let's half the chord rhythm. And in the bridge, let's change up the style. Change the complexity maybe. Let's add some more fills. Let's change this rhythm. Yeah, so there's a lot of things you can do in here. You can add a voicing in the octaves. You can change the voicings. You can change the style. You can change the fill. You can add more details. You can add ghost notes. You can push the fill. We can humanize it even more. Now that's a bridge. I'm gonna go through and just add the chords throughout here. And let's see. I wanna change the outro a bit too. I'm gonna have the outro the same as the verse, as the intro. And I actually want to half the chord rhythm for the intro and the outro. Option drag for this. Great. So now we have our first bass layer. We don't need these markers, we can uncheck that. Now let's add another melody like an ear candy. So I'm gonna do a right click here, go to new session player, keep it on keyboard, but this time I'm gonna use arpeggiated. Create. And now I wanna make sure that all of them is just playing the right hand. And I want all of them to be very not complex and not intense. And I want it to follow the vintage upright. And let's hear how it sounds. Cool. Now I want to change the sound of this player, this p this instrument. So I'm gonna go to Alchemy. I'm gonna go to Gentile Sign Bells. And let's hear how it sounds. I want to keep this, I want to make these even more simple. Just going to go here, complexity, intensity, and then I can just delete these and actually just hold down option and drag those there. Okay, great. Now let's add some bass. So I'm just going to right click here, go to new session player, go to bass player, and we can decide what style we want. I want to go with modern R&B, or you can pick one of these ones, but for this I'm going to go with modern R&B. Select create, and now it created a bass for us. I want to lower the intensity and complexity of it all, pretty much. And yes, I can follow the chords for now. I'll eventually have it follow the drums, but you can hear um, how you want it to be. I want it to be, um, oh, let's stick with like just some notes. I don't want it to be too busy. And we're gonna do just some octaves. And yeah, we'll keep the phrasing short, so we'll keep the fill small. There's a lot going on with that first piano, so we're gonna keep this pretty simple here. And we'll take out some dead notes. I like slides. And let's hear how it sounds. A 
Okay, so you can mess around until you get something you like. I'm gonna go with pop songwriter. Let's try something different. Okay, cool. Now the last thing I'm going to add is the drummer. So all I'm going to go is right click here again, do new session player. Now I'm going to select drummer, select create. And once again, it outlined it with the track. I'm going to actually change the bass to follow the drums since we want those to be tied in. So slow jam. So let's hear how it sounds. So let's say I don't want it to have a lot going on in the beginning. I can just keep it pretty chill. Let's say I just want it to have a percussion in the beginning. And you can mess around with the ghost notes. You can pull or push the feel. You can add some dynamics. You can humanize it, which is really cool to make it sound more natural. So it's going to randomize the velocity and the quantize. Okay, once you find something that you're happy with, now you can customize it into making it your own. So you can select it all, right click, and do convert to MIDI. Now you have everything on MIDI. You can change up the drum kit. So um, let's see, what's a drum kit that I have? I can go over to different drum kits here, or I can use a third party drum kit if you want. You can even do the same thing with the piano, right? So we'll take the piano, control click, convert to MIDI. Now let me pull up a third party plugin that I have. I can go through and change the octaves of all of these. Like let's say I want to like simple simplify a lot of this. I can go in. I can press J to join first of all. Then I can go through So there's a lot going on here. So I can just take all of that and delete that. Actually, I like that, but it's too high up. So I can just take all that and press shift option down so I can lower that down here. I'm gonna even do it one more. And I'm actually gonna delete all of these ones down here. And a fun thing you can do, actually, this is a bonus tip. If you're in the piano roll and you press A, you go to a pencil tool. Now you draw a line. Look, it made the velocity go from small to loud. Check it out. So this is how you can go through and make the demo your own. So without taking up too much time, this is the fastest way that you can create a demo. Then you could add to it, you can add vocals. This is great if you're a singer or songwriter or if you're a pro and you have writer's block and you just want to think outside of the box. AI or whatever you want to call this, I don't know if this is technically AI, but these are tools that are available for you and free to use if you use Logic. 
And huge shout out to Apple for spending so much time and money and resources to help music be more accessible to more people. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.